TV. My name is Ella. I own a lifestyle channel here on YouTube by the name of Ella Elbells. And in today's video on Awesomeness TV, I'm showing you all how to make a DIY Lush Ocean Salt body and face scrub. This scrub is seriously amazing. It is one of Lush's best sellers, but it goes for like 30 some dollars, which is kind of expensive. So I figured I'd show you all how to make this at home for super cheap and a lot of the ingredients you probably already have in your house. The only difference I could find between mine and Lush's is that the color is a bit different since we are using real avocado. It's more green instead of white. But other than that, it smells the same and it has the exact same effect. So it's pretty much the same thing. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and yeah, let's get started. So start off with one ripe avocado, cut that in half, take the pit out, and just scoop the insides out of that into a bowl of your choice. If you have a ripe avocado, it's going to be a lot easier to scoop it out, but I'm not really sure that the ripeness of it matters too much since you aren't eating it. So once you have scooped all the insides out, take a fork or whatever mashing tool you like, I guess, and just begin mashing it up until you have a smooth consistency with minimal bumps. So next up, just take one teaspoon of coconut milk. I got this from Safeway, but I'm almost positive you can get it pretty much anywhere, and just add that to your avocado mash thing. Next, take one teaspoon of lime juice and add that to the mixture as well. According to Lush, lime actually has very good cleansing properties as well as witch hazel which we are using next. You can get this at any sort of drugstore and just add one tablespoon of that to the mixture as well and then mix that all together until it is really smooth. After that, start off with about one to two tablespoons of fine sea salt and add that to your avocado mash thing and just start mixing that together and add more salt as you like to get the consistency you like. I ended up adding about six tablespoons total but honestly the consistency is up to you. If you like it more rough just add more salt. If you like it more smooth add less. So next just take a container of your choice and start putting the mixture into the container. And once you have done that, now it's time to make the blue salt that goes on top of it. So just take some coarse sea salt and put a little bit of that in a bowl. And then take some blue food coloring and put about one to two drops of that in there. And just mix it with a fork until the color of the dye has gone onto the salt and the salt is a pretty blue color. This part is optional but Lush has this on theirs so I thought I'd add it to mine as well. So just put that on top of your scrub and that is it. This scrub smells so good and it's literally identical to the smell of Lush's. It also makes your skin feel super soft after using it. As you can see, it is not the exact color because we used a real avocado instead of a avocado oil like I think they use. But like I said, it works just as well. And don't worry guys, I know I use dye in this, but I swear it will not stain your skin. I've tested it out a few times to make sure and the scrub literally washes right off in the sink with some water. It doesn't stain your hands at all. You can either mix the blue salt into the avocado portion of it or just leave it on top, whatever you want. And yeah, that's it for this DIY. So that is how you make your very own Lush Body Scrub. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to Awesomeness TV and my channel, which will be linked down below. And hopefully I will see you guys again soon on this channel. Bye!